good morning to our witnesses. I wanted to start uh, by first uh, comparing our VA hospitals to uh, non-VA hospitals across the country and I just want to go witness by witness, uh, yes or no. To your knowledge, uh, is there any uh, known difference uh, in any studies that you are aware of uh, or anecdotally uh, in uh, hospital-acquired uh, infections uh, at VA hospitals as compared uh, to uh, non-VA hospitals? I will start with uh, Dr. Jinadatha, yes or no? No. Uh, Dr. Cox? No. Dr. Pearl? No. Mr. Smith? No. Mr. Miller? Don't know. Okay. And uh, Dr. Jinadatha, are you aware of uh, any studies underway or in your own experience uh, working with patients in Central Texas uh, who are veterans uh, with regard uh, to HAIs? Y yes, sir. Um, as I mentioned in my testimony, we have a, uh, a multi-center study where we are looking at how does implementation of UV technology affect outcomes such as hospital-acquired infections. So we have two intervention sites and two control sites. So we are comparing standard practice versus enhanced cleaning to see if that makes a difference. Great. And certainly in the last uh, six months, uh, we have learned a lot about uh, veterans' hospitals. Over the last four to five years, we have learned a lot about the veterans' claims disability uh, backlog. And most on this panel, I assume, uh, would agree, and most of my colleagues would agree, uh, that uh, what we promise our veterans and how we treat our veterans uh, is not uh, matching up, and that we promise them that we will take care of them. And right now we have unacceptable backlogs uh, in the care in some of these hospitals that have been highlighted, like in Phoenix, for example, uh, is outrageous and uh, not what uh, they deserve. However, uh, I am concerned that by having this hearing, we may be uh, alluding to or implying that a problem exists that does not exist, and we could further hurt confidence that our veterans have in our health care system uh, by implying that HAIs exist or occur at a greater rate at VA hospitals than they do uh, elsewhere. And so, uh, Dr. Gina Datha, uh, is it your experience that uh, you are not seeing, at least in the Central Texas system, uh, anything that would exceed uh, your area, community, uh, or private hospitals? Uh, we are a very small uh, facility, sir. We have 90 operating beds. So our infection rates, uh, when we compare it to hospitals of our similar size, we are at, at national average or below national average on some of the measures. Great. And uh, Mr. Smith uh, called for uh, to study this not just for our veterans' hospitals but for non-veteran hospitals, uh, additional uh, Federal funding uh, for the CDC, for the NIH, for the National Science uh, Foundation. Uh, and uh, just going again across with the witnesses, uh, would you agree that uh, when we are making our budgeting priorities, uh, we should be increasing funding for those programs? Uh, or cutting funding? So would you say increase or cut, Dr. Jinadatha? Since I'm a researcher, increase. Okay. And Dr. Cox? Increase. And Dr. Pearl? Increase. Dr. Or Mr. Smith? Yeah, definitely increase. Okay. And Mr. Miller? Increase with incentives. Great. And actually, I'm, I'm glad you brought up uh, those incentives uh, because uh, Dr. Pearl, um, starting this fall, Medicare is set to impose penalties on hospitals that have poor infection control rates. Uh, as an incentive to improve quality of care. Uh, do you believe that this is a reasonable policy that will help reduce hospital infection rates? Uh, and then, Mr. Miller, uh, if you could follow up on that. I am not a public policy researcher, but I think that if it does go ahead and, in your opinion, that is the way the country should go, that we absolutely need to make sure that we don't have untoward consequences as, as a result of that. I mean, I think the risk is that we lose resources that may be supporting some of the practices that all of us have been talking about. Great. And, Mr. Miller, is that an incentive you would support? And could you give us examples of others uh, that you might support? So I, I think the uh, I'm, in, I'm in support of including more in the hospital compare data and increasing the penalties on value-based purchasing, making sure that things like MRSA, C diff, VRE, gram-negative staffs, that those are all included 
in there so that the hospitals absolutely know they are not going to uh, make money by making the patients sick. I think, is that responsive? Then the second thing is the, the other idea is that's the stick, and then providing them with an incentive that enables them to say, okay, I've got you know, 20,000 patient days coming up. I can afford to buy the technology that's going to save you 20 to 1 on your spend that's more direct. Great. Thank you, Mr. Miller. And uh, Mr. Chair, I yield back the balance of my time.